Hello everyone, this is Ron. Welcome to another Devil May Cry pick of combat video. I hope you guys are doing totally amazing. And in this video, we are going to talk about the new fighter, the Hell Shaker Pick Hunter Lady, and also we are having the new hunter, hunter, uh, new fighter Count Thunder Virgil. But first of all, I would like to apologize and take my word back. Why? Because in my previous video, I kind of criticized that this, the way they kind of designed this sixth month celebration, was not really up to the mark. They didn't really give us any friendly banner or something. But guess what? Let me show you. Let me take you to the vault and look at this. Look at the amount of gems they provided us. And I totally remember that when I was recording that video where I was complaining about the update, I was having around 17,000 gems or so. Today I checked. I checked that video today before creating this video. 17 to 25, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Around seven to eight thousand gems, guys. Around seven to eight thousand gems within two weeks or so. This is insane. This is so good. This is so good, guys. This is almost, uh, almost near to a PT. To be honest, we need fifteen thousand. I think twelve thousand to complete the PT. All right. So I am totally happy the way they kind of dealt with this uh, anniversary thing. Free rewards, very very welcome. Now what they are giving us right now, they are returning this Virgil Count Thunder and they are giving us this triple s hell shaker lady we are gonna take a good look at their kits and their gameplay and everything now first of all i would like to talk about this count thunder because the way these banners are structured you guys probably already know that returning banners are very very friendly why because we'll be getting 15 percent off in the second pool and your fifth pool is going to be entirely for free okay this is so good so you will actually get the character with lower amount of gems that's the point now let's talk about the kit of this character so basically he is a great at inflicted damage dealer he's a damage dealer and he's an electric damage dealer electric damage paralyzed skills can uh, feel paralyzed god and once it's full cause the target to lose hp every second so this is kind of a dot thing do, uh, damage over time and this can also trigger the QTE of Electric Hunter. So you will get immense amount of benefit if you are using uh, other electric damage dealing fighters. Uh, the, the, the recent Trish, for example, if you have Trish, oh my God, that's an insane team combination. And also there is another, uh, I think I, I, as, as far as I remember, we have a Dante also, a Electric Dante. Teleporter, skills can transfer damage one from one target to another. This is totally an unique mechanism. I haven't seen this mechanism in most of the characters because this can this can inflict damage to any, any one character and then transfer the damage to any other character. This is so unique. So this makes him kind of really smart to be honest and rapid slash and sh uh, sh judgment dance cooldown skill uh, uh, skill can lower the cooldown of skills from the entire lineup. This is very important guys because skill cooldown is always going to give you extra age in the battle no matter what game mode you are playing rapid slash and judgment dance hunter can perform rapid attacks and break hit shield at great efficiency guys this is you probably already know that how important this mechanism is no matter how powerful your damage dealer is if he cannot break the shield with efficiency or quickly you will have to kind of rely on another fighter that means you have to tag out your main damage dealer bring the shield breaker and then break the shield and then once again tag the damage dealer what it is going to do to you you are going to lose time and we, you are going to lose damage that's the main problem but if you are using this type of characters many of the characters are having shield breaking abilities they are kind of a one-man show to be honest all right now let's talk about uh, the hunter trial let's earn some 50 free gems and let me show you a little bit of gameplay too by the way this gameplay is not going to be optimal for sure how fast! Oh my god! Oh my god! He's so fast! So slow! And you can literally spam this attack! This one, you can literally spam! Okay, we are getting the boss stages. So this spammable skill actually makes a big difference. Look at this, I'm still standing. 
Oh my god, he is so fast. And as I told you that he can actually this skill, especially this skill. This one is going to bridge the gap. This one is going to bridge the gap. It doesn't matter how far is the enemy. And let's break some shield. Of course, we break as you can see this character can break break the shield. And boy, this skill, especially this one is so powerful. Look at this. You can spam this thing entirely. And even his basic attack is also very strong. So let's approach the great enemy. Of course, my main gameplay is not optimal. You can charge this skill. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this. Oh, this is so beautiful. I'm just trying to enjoy. Oh my god, bro. Seriously? Look at this. This is so good, guys. This is so good. And probably you guys already know that how useful this character is. 50 gems. Don't forget to collect if you are not even pulling in this banner. Now, let's talk about the other characters. And we are having a new surprise. Hellshaker lady now this lady is totally redesigned and a new lady that we are getting you might actually uh, feel the you know relevance or the sameness of the costume because we already have a lady like this but if you look at her face if you look at the weapon and if you look at the fine tuning that they did it's totally amazing so first of all let me do the free pull clear it and get the free reward now let's talk about the character. Okay, it's so good to have the gems. Now she is going to be especially an AOE damage dealer. That means she is going to cover the entire stage and destroy the enemies with ease. And she is also going to be an electric damage dealer. So technically, she and Count Thunder both are going to be extremely amazing pair because she's a damage dealer. Count Thunder is also going to do a very good job with the electric damage. Great at in like, inflicting damage, hard hitter, hunter can dash out powerful blows and break damage red shield with great efficiency. Now this shield is a little bit different. This shield is the red shield that you see especially in the boss hunts or in the boss fights. Most of the bosses are having a bar behind their HP, kind of a red bar that you need to break first before you can do the damage. Of course you can do physical damage without breaking the bar but it takes a little damage. So it is a great, great ability for any character to break the boss shield. So this is so useful. Penetration skills can increase the damage targets take. Of course, it's a good thing. AOE, one of our strongest property. Hunter can gather targets in one place, providing great opportunity to inflict AOE damage. Why this is important, guys? Because you know that most of the stages that we play in WPKI Peak of Combat are kind of wide there is a lot of enemies, they are going to spread away and it is a big problem. It is a big problem to gather those enemies. Either you have to reach them to defeat them or either you have to bring them. So this character is going to do what? This character is going to bring the enemy closer. So top notch guys. And this is the problem that we were previously facing with characters like the Fire Dante. The Fire Dante that I have, let me quickly show you that this character is, uh, for example, these characters. Fire Dante, where is my Fire Dante? This character, for, for example, amazing character, but they, this character lacks those skills that it can bring those uh, enemies closer and do the damage because his range is kind of lower. So I believe in some previous update, uh, in, in some future update, this Dante is also going to get this uh, effect, which is going to be very, very useful for him. But this lady, on, other, on the other hand, is going to be rough not. Let's check out some of the more descriptions what we are having. MP regeneration skills can restore MP or explosiveness for your entire lineup. So great team support. But this uh, support is limited to MP or explosiveness for your entire lineup. So it remains to be seen that how this is going to work because this she is not straight away offering the support uh, attack buff rather this explosive thing. We'll see how it works. So now let's go and do a little bit of hunter trial and earn a little bit of James and show you a little bit of gameplay. All right, let's go. So 
beautiful. She 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 looks really amazing, guys. She looks really kind of smooth, to be honest. Probably. This is a basic attack. Oh. So if you uh, long press the basic attack, she's gonna do like this. Okay. More enemies. Of course, this is a jump. And what you can do? This is so good, guys. Look at this. Okay. Ah, she's a little bit of an interesting fight, to be honest. I mean... Wow! She, she can hook the fighters. Has some stuff in her. Okay, you have to build this uh, basic attack. You have to build this thing, right? Okay, it's on the ultimate. Let's see how, how it's gonna work. You won't get away. Oh boy. See, now they are gathered. This is the main property. This is the ultimate that she is going to use and kind of gather the enemies together. So this, her skills, as I have experienced, has kind of less, uh, you know, spectacular elements like lot of emo, uh, like like lot of uh, animations, slashes, going stops here and there. Rather, her skills are kind of fine tuned. Not really too much slashes, but she's going to do her job in any ways. And probably she has one of the most powerful default that I saw. It totally gathered all the enemy and kind of blocked them. The enemies were unable to move. This might actually give a chance for other characters to get into uh, the stage and do a huge amount of damage with the unmoving enemy. So overall, these two characters might be really good. But in my opinion, I think if you are willing to have fun with your characters, like lot of slashes, lot of animations, blam, 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 things going on. Virgil Count Thunder is going to be your pick because he is also going to offer you, of course, a, a very friendly banner. And this is insane, guys. But Hellshaker, on the other hand, she's going to be, of course, a higher damage dealer. Of course, she's a new character. She has some new mechanisms going on. Especially, she is going to do very, very well against where the game modes where there is a lot of, lot of mob. Especially, I can remember regular game modes like... Uh, uh, I forgot the name of the game mode, guys. Especially if you go to the hunters. Sorry. Go to the missions. Then. Events. Challenges. Especially this bloody palace. There is a lot of lot of annoying enemies in this game mode. And this is one of the most rewarding game modes. So you have to play this thing on a regular basis. This character can be really helpful in this in this game mode. Now, let's talk about a little bit of a uh, battle card thing and I'm gonna sh straight away show you the battle cards that I am using with my electric fighters. For example, this guy. Let's go to the cards. And this card, I believe, electric damage 16%, increase electric damage 10%. So, this card, if you are using 4 pieces of this card, you'll be getting in total 16% electric damage ideal for both of those characters that i showed and also you can combine these sort of uh, cards too probably this card is also going to provide you electric damage so what i did uh, let's check out the card i added these two cards 16 percent electric damage 10 percent in total i'm getting 26 percent electric damage however you can add four piece of this card or also either you can use four piece of this card doesn't really matter now if we go you see that this one uh, which one I was using ice electric damage two card is going to give you 16% electric damage four card is going to increase the electric damage of ultimate skill by 80% so any character who is getting a lot of betting benefit from the ultimate skill try to use this one especially I believe if you are willing to use four piece set with lady that is going to be the best thing 
and also the card that i showed the other one i hope i can find honestly you don't really need that one because it is going to increase overall damage by 10 percent increase electric damage by 10 10 percent of course this uh this card is of course way superior because this is legendary level card okay so this card you would like to use for sure about the weapon this might be a little bit stressful for you if you are willing to weapon uh do this weapon section this is going to be the golden beauty glamour it's a great weapon looks design wise very very good kind of a bazooka type thing very very powerful weapon to be honest and the more copies you are having the stronger will be your character and stuff these are going to be try to get the weapon if possible otherwise i do believe she is going to do a very good job without the weapon because she is so damn strong guys and she's going to be a new fighter she has been power creep to be honest so let me know what you think about the new characters and the new banners i believe they are good characters but definitely you can always keep banners and save more gems and wait for your favorite fighters if none of them is appealing to you in a major way so thank you so much for watching don't forget to support the content support the channel and i'll see you soon in some other videos till then stay awesome and peace out my friends